Welcome to the new Steam Midweek Madness video here on my channel, my friends. So guys, I was not uploading a lot of other Steam Autumn Sale videos. So I thought like actually in my first video, everything was included, the best deals, everything was included. So I'm sorry for this, but I'm kind of happy that the Autumn Sale is over so we can jump in back on the Steam Store, the Steam Store front page, and we can see all of those amazing, interesting deals, my friends. So very, very happy uh, to, to be here to make this video today all right my friends also uh, if i have forgotten it i think but you might uh, know it already so make sure uh, up until the 1st of december you can still get your star wars squadrons free copy on epic games and then also another game for triumph and rpg in the box are coming next week so very important to tell you this and i, I think also a sale is still going on on the epic store so and then we got some interesting news my friend so uh, one very interesting interesting game that I personally looking forward to is a uh is Starship Troopers Extermination by Offworld Industries. So this is supposed to come then in next year. So, uh, and it's going to be a co-op first-person shooter and that puts you on the far off front lines of the all-out battle against the Bucks. So you're going to fight against the Bucks. I mean, this game, guys, or the, the scenario of Starship Troopers is definitely is definitely calling for, for a cool co-op uh, uh, Buck Hunt uh, uh, title. So I I hope I hope I hope this game is going to get good so it's sometimes uh, very difficult to say but what I see here on the picture so this could be like a, if, the, if it just would make it like a good call of duty and then with bugs uh, this would already uh, be amazing so on the other hand I would prefer actually seeing an alien co-op first-person shooter so this would uh, I think this would be even cooler off-world uh, off-world industries who is this so they made they made squad and postscriptum beyond the wire so they already have some experience and squad actually has very positive rated postscriptum as well beyond the wire also so yeah in this sense I would say we can be we can be optimistic and also very optimistic my friends uh, friends is actually the news that polyphony digital might consider or is considering releasing gran turismo on pc this is just some random news so but it was all over the internet uh, or over the whole internet my friends so i'm sure you found this all right so what's going on on steam here updates and offers of course so we have a midweek madness on scum we have a call of the wild the angler which is still a mixed review a fishing simulation and we have destroy all humans also with a 75 percent reduction <sighs> guys i mean some of those games are not are not so so spectacular now after the steam autumn sale where i personally actually bought some games it's not so spectacular to see those games actually now but if you're interested in two point campus frozenheim uh, scum midweek madness prop night etc so may maybe they have a better deal now i can't to be honest guys i can't even tell you if those deals are better but what i can tell you is actually that battlefield battlefield is now in ea plus battlefield 2042 is in ea plus so if if you're interested in playing uh, Battlefield 2042, because your Call of Duty is always <laughs> crashing like mine, so very annoying. So I'm going to check it out. Maybe they have now some nice close quarter uh, maps. So that's actually the only maps that I want to play in the Battlefield. <laughs> Mostly negative, 30% positive, only by 120,000 reviews. I mean, that's <laughs> that's impressive. And now recently, mix. So season three is out called Escalation. I don't like Battlefield so much since I think the maps are too big and I don't like to be run over by a tank personally in a, in a game when I just want to play infantry. But that's my personal opinion. So for me, the maps are simply too big. So, And I think that's the major problem of Battlefield. And a lot of people actually... They don't understand that they also don't under, don't like this so just saying just saying guys but of course people have other opinions if you like it that's no problem so call of the wild the call of the wild the angler so very positive now finally a fishing game based on the call of wild uh, scenario uh now well, very positively rated check it out bit pricey destroy all humans by thq nordic embracer 25 percent down still a little pricey as well so those games were not really selling very well embracer said recently they were not really selling very well so obviously therefore we get uh, some nice deals already 
And no, you are not on the other finance channel, my finance channel. So you are still on my uh, stream in the looks channel, my friend. So, uh, but I want to show you something uh, for, for the Witcher remake. So codename Candice Majori. So the Witcher, uh, first Witcher is going to get a remake. And they say story driven, single player, open world RPG, a modern reimagination, reimagining and modern reimagining so i don't know if this is actually correct from an english point of view of the 2007's the witcher game my friend the 2007 the witcher game so if we check now we go and look at the 2000 witcher game we can look actually how popular this was my friend so let's see i think that's the first one here also already in an enhanced edition so this is how the first witcher game looked like and this is going to be a reimagined version and uh, i think the graphics already look kind of atmospheric kind of cool so we're going to have get a new open world of this so now we reimagine this in a new open world so, but the graphics here i really like so the graphics are really really nice so, oh la la guys look at this <laughs> what's that for funny vampire ah, the problem with this game was that it was simply it had a terrible uh, uh, terrible gameplay let's put it like this the gameplay was really not good but the the idea the graphics were kind of decent my friends kind of decent then of course we go to steam database my friends and we see here when is the next steam sale i want to give you already the leak so uh the leak is now the winter sale 22nd of december to the 5th of january so and then the base builder fest is going to come in the 23rd of january and then the next steam fest is going to be the 6th of february and then spring sale on the 16th of february so what games do we have at the moment that have never been the cheap before uh sackboy a big adventure 40 euro 33 percent down and uh, for the rest actually not so much but i would say after the steam autumn sale i can imagine my friends that you now actually need some time to to get some some money back in your pocket so also evil west came uh, came out and ship of fool and they are also uh, decently uh rated so evil west here with a mostly positive rating 76 percent 21st of november it came out by focus entertainment flying wild dog so i think people like this game so i actually like that people like this game because it means that i'm going to get this game at one point because it's really enjoyable and ship off fools also people like this 81 percent positive also very nice i like this like to see actually uh, this game uh, in action co-op roguelike action multiplayer so 15 euros and release date is the 22nd of november was the 22nd of november so also very interesting title multiplayer why not check it out and then we have a game i already talked about that's wave tail so i got a review key for this game and i think the embargo is down so i played it a little bit so it comes now on the 12th of december the wave tail on the full development so 1599 followers that's pretty cool so what i played for now i really enjoyed this and guys i can absolutely recommend you to check out this title all right so what else do we have we have marvel spider-man's miles morals came out very positive rated as well and then now we say tactics also mostly more most positive rated if we go to the top sellers we still see call of duty warm of 40,000 dark tide which is also standing now at the mostly positive rating which is nice and need for steed unbound is now also new in the top sales and very interesting actually to see that on december uh, the game that had some issues in the beginning also fifa 23 is now rated mix and it is uh, as a free to play also in the top seller so that's also interesting to see then besides of this we what do we have some upcoming games i would say i don't see now anything that's really fancying me now so i'm jesus christ Pro prologue all right so a, a biblical uh, title so here we don't really see anything new oh i totally forgot actually there was a half-life alex uh, a dlc coming out which is kind of like a new game it's kind of like a new game maybe you should check this out if you have half-life alex and you have a vr headset so oh my god i have to reinstall my whole my whole um we are uh, uh system again so warhammer 40,000 dark tide 40 
euros. I think it came now finally out. So no, it's still pre-purchased, still in beta, but mostly positive finally. So people like it. So yeah, I'm going to get this game then at one point. So looking forward, of course, to get my new PC soon. All right, guys. So I would say then I'm leaving it here. A little introduction video on this Tuesday. I think it's a Tuesday in my country. I hope you're going to have a great week. So and then in the weekend, we will see each other again on Thursday latest with a new video and also check out my gaming fin video uh, channel here on youtube where i talk also a lot about uh, gaming companies i crunch the numbers i look at the outlook and i have always a view from a, yeah, a view from a gamer looking at at stocks from from a gamer's perspective i think that's a, a very interesting uh, point of view actually all right thank you very much see you next time bye bye